Thanks for checking out this video. So it's been a little bit since I ordered from Diabolic DVD. So here I am again, another order from Diabolic DVD that I'm gonna be unboxing here. Um, I think I may have forgotten one or two of these. So one of the boxes that I have with the Blu-rays, I got only Blu-ray, uh, one of the boxes I got has actually been sitting for weeks because I wanted to wait until my pre-ordered item came in because then I could unbox them at the same time. Now that said, uh, <laughs> I, I'm gonna have some more of these videos because during the month of October, I got very focused on horror, as you do, and I made a few other purchases. I made another order through Diabolic DVD, so I'll do an unboxing for that when I end up getting those, and I also placed an order with Scream Factory directly for their Shocktober sale because, man, there were some really great deals for that sale, uh, one in particular that I'm really excited about getting for like nine bucks super cheap uh but yeah so i will have those unboxings coming up so let me go ahead and start with the one that just showed up today um no a few days ago i just happened to uh get it out of the mail today basically so this was the pre-ordered one and um i saw i've seen a lot of people on social media posting hey just got this very excited about it and that is scare package um i definitely like this enough to go ahead and purchase it when it had premiered on The Last Driving with Joe Bob Briggs. I thought that was cool that they did it that way, that that was kind of its premiere. I love the fact that they have The Last Driving episode of Scare Package on this Blu-ray. Those are great things. Uh, the reason I really wanted to purchase this is I really wanted to support com uh, horror comedies. I love horror comedies, and this one is quite a good one. You know, it's an anthology. Not all the stories on it are super great, but there are some super great ones. And the ones that aren't so great, you know, if I'm watching it, I can just skip them. Or it doesn't even take that long to just watch them because they're not that long. But uh, really good effort with this film. And I think that we should be supporting people who are putting out at least solid horror comedies because that's a hard subgenre to pull off. It really is, especially because, you know, comedy is a little bit subjective or uh, objective, I want to say. And I just, I, I know that everyone kind of views it a little bit differently and people tend to get really harsh in their criticisms if it doesn't come off as funny for them or good enough for them. And just think about how hard it's got to be to actually write a good horror comedy because you keep needing to put in funny stuff. That is not easy. And you need to appeal to as many people as possible. So anyway, very excited to be supporting these, these folks. And uh, awesome. I'm excited to have that. So now let me get to the other box, the one that's been sitting around. And I think I forgot like one of the things in here. So this was when uh, Diabolic DVD revealed that during the month of October, I think it was October, or maybe it was the end of September. See, that's how long this has been sitting around. Like, that, that's a problem. So this was, uh, they were doing a blue underground sale. And I know after that, they did an arrow sale as well. I did not buy anything from the arrow sale, mainly because it came so soon after the blue underground sale. And I was just like, I'm not going to do this. I'm not, I'm not buying anymore right now. And then I ended up doing the Shocktober purchase and another Diabolic DVD purchase because I pre-ordered something else, and you'll see what that is when it comes in. But, you know, it's one of those things. It just happens. Okay, so the first thing, this was a good deal. I forget how much it was, but I remember thinking, ooh, that's actually a pretty good deal because it's three Blu-rays in one, and this is the Lucio Fulci collection. Now, two of these I've seen before and one I have not. It has City of the Living Dead, which I love. Probably one of my favorite Fulci films. It's... You know, story-wise, it's not great, but visually, it is great, and there's some really awesome gore gags in that, which, you know, after doing Giallo, that's kind of what Fulci got into, is just kind of setting movies up around the gore gags, like coming up with cool scene ideas and cool kills, and then just being like, ah, oh, we'll come up with the story later, basically. Um, but they look good, man, and I love City of the Living Dead for that reason. Um, the House by the Cemetery is also on here. Um, that one is quite fun as well. Uh, I don't think I, I don't, I didn't like it a ton, but it's good enough, you know, and it's in a three pack and it was relatively cheap for getting 3d, uh, Blu-ray. And the last one is one I have not seen before. And that's the New York Ripper. And I've been meaning to see it. So when I saw this package, I was just like, yeah, I mean, obviously I've got to 
get this because there's one I really like in there, one I'm like, eh, and one I've been meaning to see. So great purchase right here. I'm very excited about that one. And I already have reviews for City of the Living Dead and The House by the Cemetery on my channel. Um, like I said, I haven't seen New York Ripper yet, but once I do, believe me, there will be a review on my channel. Also, just so you know, I have a whole playlist on my channel for Lucio Fulci films. Just know that. Also, I do have a review for Scare Package on my channel, if you wanted that. If you didn't, sorry. <laughs> I, uh, okay, so the next one, this one's fun. This is fun. And it's a, it's a lenticular cover, so it's even more cool. Um, so this film is another Lucio Fulci, and it has gotten a 4K restoration. But uh, I went for the Blu-ray with this one, and boom, zombie. I know a lot of people love this. Am I going to be able to move it so you can see? Oh, there we go. You can see the lenticular movement on it. I think. I hope you can. Yeah, so zombie. So this it's kind of fat if you'll look at this. Uh, it's basically like the size of two Blu-ray um, cases. But yeah, um, I really like zombie. I think it's very good. You know, a ton of people... A ton of people who don't even know who Lucio Fulci is know this film. So it's probably one of his most popular films, if not his most popular film. But this one's a lot of fun. I felt like when I saw this special edition of it, I was like, that's not that pricey. Once again, I don't remember what the price was, but I remember thinking it wasn't that pricey for what it was. So I was like, I'm going to buy that. And I would love to add that to my collection because it's one that has a lot of rewatch value. Once again, I have a review for this on my channel. And it's in the Lucio Fulci playlist, too. All right, and then the last one that I got is one that, this is another film I don't hear people talking about a whole lot, and it's really good. I think it's still on Shutter at the moment, too, so if you want to check it out. And that is the film Dead and Buried. Uh, I think it's Richard Sherman who did this one. Uh, Gary Sherman, I'm sorry. I always get his name kind of screwed up. Gary Sherman did this one. This is a really good film. It's got, oh, what's his name? What's his name? What's his Jack Albertson. It's got Jack Albertson in it, and he, if people don't know who that is, he was the grand, he was Grandpa Joe in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, so he plays a very different role in this film, and A, it's very crazy to see him in that role, but B, this is just a very fun, very interesting, very well-executed film that, like I said, I think it's a bit of a hidden gem, because I don't hear people talk about it enough. So I saw this available, it was at a good price, and I was just like, um, I, that's been on my list anyway to buy, so now is the time. So, very glad to have this added in my collection. And once again, this also has a review uh, video on my channel, so you can check that out as well. And that's it. I, I really like Diabolic DVD. Uh, they did a really good job filling my order. Um, I just sat on it for weeks because I wanted to wait for the pre-ordered item. And um, that was, yeah. So, a bunch of really good stuff. And... Yeah, just to give everyone the spread. Because I think I'll... I might just do a thumbnail like this. So maybe people can see. You can see all my good stuff. It's so great. So I want to know, uh, down in the comments for people. Did you make purchases during October with any of these sales? Whether it's Diabolic DVD, Scream Factory, Severin, um, Vinegar Syndrome, whoever... Um, Put it down in the comments. What sale did you utilize and what did you get? Because my whole reason that I do this channel is to get nerdy with people like yourself and just kind of have, you know, fun little exchanges and, like I said, get nerdy. Like, nerd out about, oh my god, I love that film. Do you love this film? And stuff like that. So, um, yeah, put some comments down there. What'd you buy? And um, I'm assuming it was a good deal if you bought it. Well, I guess I don't know for sure. Some people do the splurges, but whatever. Anyway, thank you for checking this out. Like I said, I will have more unboxings coming up. I don't know when that's going to be because I don't have the other boxes yet, but it'll happen within the next month or so. But thanks for checking this out. Do me that quick favor of hitting the subscribe button if you haven't already. That's your best way to repay me for if, if you like any video, this video or any other video I've ever done because I make no money doing this. Like I was saying, I do this channel for the love of horror and for the you know, the intent of reaching out to people like yourself and having nerdy fun conversation in the comments section. So if you could just pay me back real quick by hitting that subscribe button, that would be awesome. And then also just hit the notification bell because then that way, you know, anytime I'm putting up a new movie review or an unboxing like this, 
or doing a live stream or putting up something else because I'm doing some other type stuff on here as well. All horror related, don't worry. But uh, thank you regardless for taking your time to check this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.